Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're going to be playing on Vets and once again, once again here, and we are going to be flying the United livery, guys. Uh, we have done our pushback. We have requested our taxi. We are waiting for him to give us our taxi instructions here. And we are United 129 today. Got our route in there. We're going to wait for him to give us our taxi instructions. I think we already requested, so we're going to wait for him. I think he told us uh, he wanted us to accept flight level 350, which we did, so I'm waiting for him to say something back. Yeah, 3350, see the gates via taxiway Zulu, Tango, November, cross runway 16 center, hold short runway 16 left. Let's call him in again. Uh, Seattle Tower. A uh, Seattle Tower United One Two Nine. Can we get the taxi? United One Twenty Nine. You said you're ready for taxi. Uh, Roger, United 129. Alright, United 129, runway 34 left, taxi via Bravo, follow company in uh, 772. Alright, taxiing to runway 34 left uh, via Bravo, United 129. United 129, it is runway 16 left for departure via Bravo, follow company. Alright, you guys, I'm, I'm replaying that, he totally said 34. Alright, United 129, runway 34 left side. United 1652, uh, what's the hold up on the taxi bottle? Alright. Let's head over to Bravo, guys. I, I know he said it. I know he, said it. <laughs> he just changed so many things up. I'm not sure if you guys were aware of that. Great dude, you don't need to go a mile an hour. Let's go. You can do it. Beautiful scenery. It really is. For a freeware scenery, it is a pretty nice scenery. Oh, it's deep here. Wanna go too insanely fast. For left. Crash with three for right. Right here. United sixteen fifty two, ready to go one six four. Yeah, one six five two, line up and wait, wait one. Yeah, landing lights on. He's lining up and waiting. Yeah, hello. Blasting. Just go full throttle. Take your time. Yeah, 
Lining up and waiting, 1 6 left, United 129. There goes United, uh, no one's down. Five two, you're leaving my airspace. Frequency change crews. Have a great flight. Frequency change crews. Have a great one. The roll. So stop right here. I'm gonna get people. Hey. Set a parking brake. Let's do a little bit of one more time here. Set our text light off. Let's get our actual pickup. Before takeoff, off the flow. Set. Auto brakes. RTO. Check. Uh, seat fuel pumps. Check. All right. You're good. A few moments later. And United 129 is your turn for takeoff. Wind is 1506 on F to Windy. Run my 161 clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff United 129. Have a nice night. Set, 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 check. Um, Alright. You're good to go. We'll just parking brake. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go 50% engine school. Everything rises normally. We'll throttle. Take off power set. Something I actually forgot to review real fast, guys. I can't do it now because I'm already in my role here. Uh, V1 is going to be 137, V2 is going to be 142, and uh, or no, V1 is going to be 137, and rotate is going to be uh, 139, and V2 is going to be 1. V1, rotate. Really nice. Hey, nine, one twenty nine, radar service is terminated. Pause the rate gear up. Yeah, have a great flight. Our frequency change the crew heading over to Unicom. Have a nice night, sir. Let's set our speed. Alright, so we ended up getting our autopilot set back up again. It is working fine now. We're about to cross over 10,000 feet here. Um, I didn't have autopilot B set up for some reason. I don't know how that was possible, but I thought I set it up. I was almost positive I did. About 10,000, it's about to be. And we're going to continue on with our flight like nothing happened. We are right now, as of right now, intercepting our route. And we're going to climb and maintain flight level 210. Once we get above 10,000, we don't have to obey the SID rules anymore. We could uh, then maintain, and we are above 10,000 now. We now maintain the speed we want to go, which is 300. We want us on flight level 350, and we will proceed to do so. 
Hopefully we have a San Francisco uh, tower. San Francisco, we, I know we have San Francisco ground. I'm asking, I'm hoping we have a uh, San Francisco uh, tower though. That's what I meant to say. Right then, after there, after our, uh, route there, we're gonna continue on. I don't know why it says it ends there. Oh, it doesn't end. Okay, it looks like it was ending for some reason, but it's not ending there. That's why I was really silent looking at really closely. I'm like, wait, we put a full route in. Ooh, group flight up there, wow. Maybe they're just crossing. Uh, maybe that's just lucky. There's an Airbus. That's fun. Got an Airbus, a 737, and a 787? 737 and a 737. And an Airbus crossing. That's funny. <laughs> Set a real back up there. Did I have to do that? Yeah, so, okay. Our route does not end there. I was just confirming that we're going to, like I said, we're going to go something earlier. We're going to reset ourselves. Uh, I will get back to you guys when we're at flight level 210. And we will be intercepted by that. So, with that being said, uh, here we go. Here we are guys at about flight level 210. Um, there's a lot of clouds. We're gonna try getting above these before we get to them. So let's go up to climb and maintain flight level 300. Get above these as fast as we can. Because we do not know. Hmm. Sorry. Oh, uh, Seattle ground just got on mine. So we are climbing and maintaining 300 right now. We have the uh, DTG to go, or uh, DHJ1, Juliet 189, direct RBL. Romeo I mean, I'll see that glitch. I'll tell you guys, I cannot wait to get that new PC and play P3 for you guys. Alright everyone, welcome to flight level 300. We are, uh... We lost a lot of speed coming here, I don't know why. I, I think it was the uh, pressure change pretty much. We're about to turn off onto, uh... Bravo Tango uh, Golf here. And we will uh, continue that on the recording. We are not going to cut any of that out. I've already cut a lot out in editing, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I haven't edited yet, guys, so I'm just guessing here. But the pressure change and everything, we're going to fly here at 300 until that gets back up to around 300 or something. About to intercept Bravo Tango Golf. Love that one here. Let's monitor our speed here, of course. I was telling you guys it was going down. I feel like that's going down. I just gotta give it a bit more thrust. I have the auto throttle on, but you still have control for those of you who do not know. You still have control if you're in auto throttle. If you're not in the freeway. So we're getting more stress. Just making this video. And we're still going down as you guys can see. In speed. 
That's why I'm gonna hold it here. I don't want to lose too much speed too fast. Almost at flight level 350 here. And after we are done with our waypoints here, we will put direct to uh, Kilo Sierra Fox Trot Oscar. And then we will proceed with our landing. I don't have our approach set yet, however. So I didn't think it was necessary to set yet, of course, because, well, I guess you really could have, if you think about it, you really could have set it if you wanted to because there was some power, but I was thinking, like, just in case they do put power online, we are going to keep our approach, uh, off. We're not going to set that. You also need to check out the weather there to see where we can land. And then we will, uh, proceed onwards. I will get you guys back at, uh, 360. Alright, we are back at, or we are back, we're at 360, hopefully this uh, altitude will, or not our altitude, our speed will start to go up here since we're not ascending anymore. And it is going up. Slowly but surely. Let's get a throttle. Let's leave it to the engine from here. So we have, we are about to intercept, um... However, I'm still in love with the plane. Pretty nice plane. I think... I don't know what livery I do like better. If I download a Delta livery, I think I'm going to fall in love with that. Even though I'm a Southwest Airlines flyer, a frequent flyer. But, I think, like I said, yeah, if I download the uh, Delta livery, I'm definitely going to like that the best. But Southwest is still pretty nice. If I were to have to put them in order immediately, I would say Southwest, then United. But you know, I really don't know. It is a pretty nice plane. I like it. Alright, we're about 200 nautical miles to go. We're maintaining still flight level 250. We're about 280 knots. Let's actually maintain that. So 0.70. Not that much. 0.75. You know, I'm forgetting my Mac a lot here. 270. That's 0.81. I don't know why I forgot that. Alright, so we got that. Like I said, we're about 200 nautical miles, probably less now, 197 nautical miles to go. Until we hit our final waypoint there, we're going to start descending at around, uh, probably around 100 nautical miles. So I will contact you guys back then. However, I do want to say is I did check on the weather here in San Francisco, and we are going to be landing the instrumental landing system on 28 left or we also what we could have done wait I'm gonna I need to see it first before I actually tell you I forgot what runway it was it was 10 left that's what it was we could have landed the RNAV on 10 left or we could have done instrumental landing system which is what we are going to do and we are going to go to a 28 left so we'll be heading 28 left and I will contact you guys when we are at around 100 nautical miles All right, we are back. We are about, I think we are probably lower than that now. Yep, we are 96.2 out, so we are going to begin our descent here. Well, let's go drop her down to about 250 knots. Let's switch that back over to Mac because we are above 290. And once that lowers down there, we are going to begin our descent. Let's start lowering it down. We're going to go flight level 200. Ooh. Got a bit of a headwind there. Flight level 200. For starters. And that is lowering down. So we're going to go to vertical speed. And then we're going to go to minus uh, 2000. Minus 2000. Let's let the passengers know.
But ladies and gentlemen, we have just begun our descent into San Francisco. Please remember to keep your seatbelts fastened at all times when the plane is descending. Please keep the cabin clear. Thank you. All right, we have advised the uh, passengers. I almost said we have invi advised the uh, cabin crew. We have advised the passengers and the cabin crew that we are descending. Uh, like I said, we're going to descend to flight level 200. Um, I do not see uh, San Francisco ground coming up yet. I'm going to look here on Vatastic to see if they are on. Let's go back. Alright, Vatastic. We're just going to look it up here real fast. That'd be off. That would be bad if they weren't online. That'd be unfortunate. I got a feeling they actually might be offline because they were online for a while. But I'm not going to confirm anything yet. We're just going to look here. Oh, Seattle has tower ground and, uh, and delivery on. Clearance. Nice. Alright, um, San Diego has ground on, but San Francisco unfortunately does not. So we're going to go about doing that ourselves, talking on the Unicom and whatnot. How much further is San Diego than, uh... No, we can't switch that mid-flight. We're taking these guys to San Francisco. That's where they said they were going. That's what they paid for. So... Oh, there's a plane right below us. Look at that. I wonder where... He's probably coming from San Diego, I bet. Is he descending? He's in a dash 8. And he is... Looks like he's maintaining flight level 180. He might be descending into... What's below us? He's in a dash 8 with airports below us. I don't see any airports. He's at 180, so he's pretty... Got a ways to go still, so who knows where he's going, but... That's besides the point here. We are still descending down to uh, flight level 200. Hopefully San Francisco Tower or San Francisco Ground will come online. And the time being... Ooh, someone just came... Oh, that was Munich, Germany. Alright, never mind. <laughs> So with that being said, guys, I will contact you guys once more when we're at flight level 200. The cabin crew. I'm only good with speaking to the customers. Altitude warning. Thank you. Now, I am sure a bunch of people are going to be like, wait, why is this screen blue? Because I'm... Hopefully you guys didn't do this, but I'm guessing most of you probably just skipped from takeoff to landing. Which I'll admit I do that too. But yes, the screen is gone because I flipped a button. I cannot figure out what I pushed at all. I, I literally dragged my mouse across the screen, that's all I did. I feel like it's something really stupid. That I should be able to figure out with no problem at all. I checked all of these already. Anti-ice is on. Speed. Reduce below 250, max 250. 240, check. Um, speed, reduce or reduce as assigned. Okay, so that's the end of our checklist there. And we are now on our final checklist when we get to our final. Still no San Francisco ground or tower, unfortunately. Fortunately there isn't. No, I'm just kidding. Unfortunately. Seventy nine point oh to go. We could go let's go two hundred and fifty. I'm sure this thing will be able to maintain it. The 737 NGX will be able to. With the freeware, you have to set 240 and you expect 10 more. So I always go below. 10 below of what you actually want. But maybe in this one it's different. I'm used, I'm used to flying the freewares because I used to fly those so much. But I'm starting to get to the NGX more and more used to it. So I think it can maintain 250 hopefully. Which it looks like it's going to. So that's good. That's good. can't see me apparently 
What airfield is this? Oh, there's me. Boop. Boop. <clears throat> I'm still recovering from a... I think it's allergies. I think. <laughs> Alright, so this thing's able to maintain 0.44 Mac 215 knots. Just a bit to our right here so we have time to intercept. Wow, that is a really. Wow, that is such a nice view. Wow. Wow. Like, I, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's actually. That's actually really nice. Come on, you cannot lie. That is so nice. That is so nice. Got to watch of our weather here on our right. <laughs> San Francisco, here we come. We're starting to run dangerously low on fuel, guys. <laughs> this is not good. We're gonna have enough for a landing, though. Doe. There's 2-8 left over there. Let's get a 2-8 left view. 2-8. Oh, I thought it'd give us a camera angle of. Okay, no, it just gave us a amazing view of our seat. That was that was so pretty. Don't gotta be aware of these clouds. These clouds are clear. Of storms, just to a right over there, we got storms. Get back on waypoint here. Bit to our left. We're going to start lining up. We're about to be the end of our intercept point here. We're going to start turning left onto it. Um, for those of you who skipped to the landing, this screen is off because it turned off randomly. I think I, I switched a button. I don't know what I switched. I checked all these. These are, yeah, these switched all that stuff on the bottom. I switch this and everything. Actually, switches those two. So I don't know what happened. <laughs> All right, let's start lining up with our uh, waypoint.
Left and to our waypoint, please. Beauty. One eight five. Oop. One setting too. F one setting too far there. About to line up. And let's line her up. Party gun. Mm -hmm. One eight zero. A bit more left into this. We're gonna line up right here on our waypoint. <clears throat> There's another plane. That is a Boeing, as far as I can tell. Yeah, Boeing And watch for our storms here off to the left. He's flying right through them. <laughs> Not that bad, though. However, you shouldn't be flying through them. That's going to be right on our waypoint right here. One seventy. All right, let's go one seventy five. Actually, two thousand. Minus five or minus three hundred should be fast enough. Eh, or minus five hundred. There's our waves. It's calm water today. Be beautiful you sitting down there right now with better scenery. <laughs> One thousand. One 
170. Flaps. Let's make one last announcement. Clear runway two eight left. One point zero and I'm out. Two eight left. Oh my. He's on final as well. SA three one six follow me in on final. Yep, I see him right behind us. Alright, we're gonna need to do this real fast then. I have control. Did not line us up properly here, however. Flaps well. Ooh, the wind's bad here. The wind is really bad here. A bit right, a bit left. Small corrections. Hashtag that weather change dough. Yeah, he's right out. Don't float me. Reverse thrust. Reverse the screen. Gotta vacate runway immediately. Left turn. Gotta get it off immediately. Clear. Let's pause that for a second. ESA three one six clear. All right, we are clear. Let's watch him land. Parking brake set. Up oh, there's someone behind him. As well. This does not look like it's gonna turn out good. Let's see. Let's go air traffic. He's in 737. That's him right there. I thought you said he was. Oh. Three one six. We advise them. ASA three one six. Be advised. We have another follow me closely.
They're only... They're really close together. He's got the crosswind as I do. He's got a really bad crosswind. Wow. We might have to. We might have to act, act, act as a uh, ATC quickly. We might have to tell uh, Sierra Whiskey Alpha two six six five to go around. Guys, he has an awful crosswind here. Look at it. Ooh, it's just wow. Hmm. We might. We'll see here. There's me, guys. Do I land on one wheel? Got it. Beautiful. But he's not down yet. There he goes. Yep, he's going around. Five. Go. All right, he's clear. We we're just being safe there. We were making sure everything was good and everything turned out good. Let's get to our gate. Let's see, gate. You want to go there. Let's go. Clear left, clear right. Do you land? Mm, yeah, he landed. All right, sweet. Clear right, clear left. Onto our gate. Just gonna be right here.
Now I have a marshaler, so we're gonna have to do this ourselves here. All right. Parking brake set. Cut engines. Our deboarding rolling. Uh, where are we united? Oh, my computer died. My laptop. All right, let's go to right, menu. F sections. Go to ground connections, set all this. Go to return, let's go to doors, go open left door, as well as open the cargo doors. Alright, we're good there. Let's switch over to our ground power here. APU off. I'm not sure if the screen is glitching out for you guys, but I'm doing it this way. Right, ground power is on. Is on. And they're deploying the plane. Alright guys, so that is it for me today. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you who watched the whole entire video, um, I'm going to be switching over to P3D here within the next two weeks. I know I said two days, but my computer doesn't have enough RAM. This is a temporary computer it was. I'm switching over to my gaming PC, which I am building here pretty soon. And uh, with that all being said, guys, I just can't thank you guys enough for supporting me through the crappy videos, through the amazing videos. Um, request what liver you want me to do next. Request a flight you want me to do in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been Aviator, signing out. See you guys in the next flight.